Hi guys, it's me, Dirty. What's up? For those who are new here, I'm Dirty and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about goals for 2022 because it's December and like every basic be out there, I'm setting for myself a bunch of goals that I am gonna try to achieve them in 2022. So firstly, when talking about goals, I think we should firstly talk about how I set my goals for 2022 because there is a major difference between how I set my goals when you compare it to the beginning of the year and now. How I changed. When it comes to goals, there are two types of goals. One is output-based goals and the other one is input-based goals. What are they? Output-based goals, let's say you want to lose weight, right? output base goal is gonna be losing 10 kilos 20 kilos or 20 pounds 30 pounds whatever so you're focusing on the outcome and the input base goal is gonna be you want to lose weight then you focus on the input so the work that you're gonna do in order to achieve that goal so working out regularly eating healthy getting your sleep maybe or reducing stress and doing all of these things so you're focusing what you're gonna do in order to achieve that goal that's gonna be an input based goal. When it comes to the way that I used to set my goals is that I was focusing too much on output rather than input. So I was saying that I want to achieve this, this, this in this, this amount of day, but I wasn't really focusing how I'm gonna do that. I wasn't really focusing on the system. I was only focusing the results that I cannot really control. So for example, creating a YouTube channel, you say in three months, I want to hit 100K. But you cannot really control the subscriber amount because it's really up to, you know, people. But when you think about in an input-based way, you say, what can I do in order to make people subscribe to my channel? I can post regularly videos and I can create videos that add value to people. That's gonna be an input-based goal mind. The thing that I realized is that it's always nice to have input-based goals, but I feel like sometimes we need output-based goals as well because they literally show you a milestone where you're at. You say, I wanna hit 100K and you've been like passing regularly and you've been adding value to people's life but when you have that like output based goal of hitting 100k you have that milestone right so you can see where you are at this current moment maybe you're at 50k maybe you're at 20k or something so in 2022 i decided to combine output based goal and input based goal and use both of them and also since i'm going to announce my goals on this channel i decided to actually create video series where i work for my goals and you know show you guys how i'm doing how it's going and how i'm adjusting my goals or how i'm trying to achieve my goals and i felt like it's gonna be a super good video series Series that can motivate myself as well as you guys so that we won't feel alone and we can you know motivate ourselves and become each other's accountability buddies I feel like on this channel one of the things that I really like the most is that this channel really motivates me and keep me on going as well as it does for you as I read from the comment section so that's a really great thing so when it comes to setting goals I have three principles which is input-based goals and output-based goals, combining them. And then the second one is keeping promises that I gave myself. You, let's say you said like, I'm gonna study regularly and you promise that to yourself and you try your best to keep that promise. And more you keep your promises that you made to yourself, I feel like more confident you become in your own skin and achieving goals in life generally. I feel like in everything, consistency is really important. We of course cannot be always consistent because you know, life gets in the way and life is really unpredictable. But more we practice the thing, more we become comfortable at that. It's same with the goals, it's same with the productivity, it's same with the businesses and stuff in my opinion. More you keep your promises, more you become comfortable and confident. For those goals, I'm just gonna give promise to myself. And since I give these promises by myself to myself, there is no one that is pushing me to do this. I'm literally deciding to do these and I'm promising myself. So I'm fully in my control and knowing that gives a lot of power, especially if you're like me who hates you know, rules that other people created and like getting orders and stuff. It's just so liberating. I hate when people tell me what to do. So at least I'm telling myself what to do and I'm making promises to myself and I'm keeping them. That's how I deal with my personality. <laughs> and then the third principle is that 50% is okay. I feel like 
most of people really struggle with perfectionism and Perfectionism is really bad in a long way. Yes, maybe for some people, for like very limited people, maybe it's good. But in most of the case, perfectionism causes a lot of mental problems as well as it just like, you know, takes a lot of time in order to just do like a simple thing. Just because you're a perfectionist, it takes more and more and more time. I'm not a perfectionist at all, but I think I'm too harsh on myself. In 2021, like I said, I think 10 goals and I was telling myself I have to achieve all of them. I have to achieve all of them because I want to become independent, successful, smart, cool lady that I admire. So in order to become that lady, that lady wouldn't, you know, fail on these goals. Therefore, I need to achieve all of them because I want to become like that lady. I've been telling myself to that, but realistically, as COVID showed us, life is unpredictable. We cannot predict at all and there is uncertainty in life so it's always okay to not achieve everything that you set yourself yes more you keep your promises toward yourself you're gonna be comfortable but it doesn't mean that just because you failed a couple times you're a failure or something the majority wins for this year i'm gonna aim myself to achieve 50 percent of my goals so since we talk about the three principles now let's talk about the goal i categorized my goals into six different groups and they are YouTube, med school, health, social, self-growth and fun. Let's start with the YouTube. For each of the goal, I decided an output-based goal and an input-based goal. When it comes to YouTube, the output-based goal is going to be to hit 700k subs in 2022. And then the input goal would be posting one to three times a week a video that adds value towards people. When I say value, people think that really it's just like, um, you know, rise and grind. It's like too much pressure on yourself. But entertainment is also a value that you can add to your life. So if I would post a vlog that people enjoy, that's also adding value to people's life. So it's okay too. I've been like posting consistently every single week over 11 months or something. That's very good. And then when it comes to med school, I want to pass all of my exams in Italy. I'm moving to Italy and I'm going to continue my medical journey there you might think like oh passing all of your exams as i heard from my friend it actually depends on the region but you don't have like grades like high school you have pass or fail grade therefore i need to get pass grade in my every single class and in order to do that my input base goal is going to be to study regularly i want to learn the content for learning for expanding my knowledge for understanding medicine more i want to do that for health the output pace goal is getting leaner. I don't want to become skinnier, but I want to get like leaner. I want to have that like muscular physique. I really love muscle in both men and women. I think it looks so good, especially like the glute area, like that, you know, bumps. Oh, that looks so good. And then like visible abs. I'm not looking for like a very six packy abs. Although I think they look really good on women. I might go like with more lean muscle. I think actually like a six pack, very nice ab would look so good on me. I actually admire that quite a lot, but that's just like a too harsh goal for me. So I would like to say a lean physique, like tiny waist and then like nice bumps and like nicely toned legs and arms and back. That looks so good on women. I like women who train regularly Therefore, I'm gonna become the woman that I admire. And in order to do that, the input-based goal is gonna be eat healthy and exercise regularly. I feel like since I started living alone, I've been eating deliveries every single day. I haven't been working out regularly for two years. My body is so jiggly, fatty, you can't feel that muscle. <laughs> so I want to change that. Okay. When it comes to social goals, actually this one is like ah really fun and really nice. I want to visit my dear friends Matt and Izzy. Matt lives in the US and Izzy currently lives in the UK. I want to visit them and we are planning to do a hype trio world tour. So they're gonna visit me in Rome, I'm gonna visit them in the UK and in the US. It's gonna be so fun. We named our group Hype Trio. We are planning to release a podcast. I hope you guys will enjoy. <laughs>
Like for this, the input base goal is gonna be saving money, obviously, saving money and adjusting my schedule according to those. And the second social goal is gonna be attend to a lot of parties. Even though a lot of people think that I'm really introvert, I really like parties. I like parties so much. And I heard that in my Italian med school, there are a lot of like parties that my school does as well as parties that student does. And I wanna attend to a lot of parties as much as possible and meet new people. Since I'm gonna be in a different country, I'm so interested in other people. I wanna learn a lot of things from them. I wanna learn the language, I wanna learn the culture, I wanna learn new things. And I feel like the best way to do it and the casual way to do it to attend a lot of parties with my friends and have fun. I feel like guilt-free parties are the best. Therefore, I'm gonna study beforehand the party so that I can, I can attend the party without any guilt and that's gonna be super fun. Self-growth habits, let's talk about those. When it comes to self-growth habits, the only goal that I have for this year is to read 10 good books. I'm not talking about 10 books, 10 good books. And that probably means like 50 more than 50 books because not every book is a good book even like the bestsellers that everyone talks about sometimes cannot be really helpful for you a good book really depends on that person and therefore i want to expand my choice of books and read a bunch of different types of books i feel like i've been reading so many self-help self-growth books but i want to read more like romance maybe like more history maybe more art medicine health generally or spirituality you know i want to read a lot of books from different areas and i want to expand my knowledge in every single area and in order to achieve that the input goal is going to be reading before going to bed and not scrolling before going to bed i always scroll my phone like about an hour sometimes two hours sometimes i like i sleep at midnight just because I scrolled down to a, a very unnecessary Instagram reel. So I'm gonna do that. Actually, I've been doing that for a couple of weeks. I've been enjoying my books. I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks using Audible. I want to continue that. So the last category is the fun. Goals for fun, <laughs> which sounds really nice. I feel like I never set any goals outside like work, school and self growth and stuff. But this year, I want to be kind to myself because like, why not? So for fun, I picked outward base goal as bring my mom to three different countries that are different than Italy, Japan and Turkey. My mother loves traveling quite a lot. I like to travel with my mom quite a lot. I want to bring her to different countries. She, she has been wanting to go to the UK and also we're planning to go to New York and maybe France or maybe Spain next year, who knows? I want to bring her to different countries and of course I'm gonna pay for everything for her flight ticket, for her hotel, for the food and stuff but in order to do that, firstly I have to be really consistent on this channel so that I can afford that and I'm gonna branch my YouTube business to different areas like merch and online courses so stay tuned for those too. So the input pace goal is going to be a be consistent on YouTube and being consistent on my other projects that I'm currently working on. Other fun goal is to reach to an intermediate level on wine. If you drink wine or if you know a little bit about wine, you probably know that it requires a lot of knowledge when you want to get deep in that because there's so many wine types, there's so many grape types, there's so many stories and there's so many information that you can learn and my mother told me that I'm pretty sure that you're gonna enjoy it quite a lot because firstly I like the taste, secondly I like learning about food. It's always nice to pair wine with a good food because it literally changed the taste. And I want to learn about wines more as well as hard liquors. I don't want to drink just for the sake of like getting drunk or something. I think it's just like for high schoolers, you know. I want to drink for communication between whoever I'm drinking with or if I'm drinking alone. I want to drink for the sake of drinking that drink and enjoying that drink, enjoying the moment, enjoying the environment. I want to like, you know, make some cocktails. I don't know, it's like so cool. I really want to say this next year. Do you want to, do you want to drink my cocktail? Oh, that's like so cool. <laughs> I want to do that. I want to do that so much. And the input base goal in order to achieve that is going to be enroll to an online course. My mom is currently doing a Vine online course 
and I might enroll to that and for hard liquor I find an online course and I'm gonna enroll to that and plan time for that and do those I think it's gonna be really fun like imagine me doing a super cool cocktail oh that's so cool I like that <laughs> so yeah these are my goals I hope that I can achieve 50% of them don't be super harsh on yourself just have fun at the end of the day if you're not gonna have fun in your life what are we doing i used to think like rise and grind be the best and stuff but now i'm like chill girl enjoy <laughs> see you guys